This is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning light on C programming. So in this video tutorial we are going to see a switch statement in C. So in programming when you have a lot of options available and uh, depending on your input you have to execute the statements of that one of the options then you can use this switch statement in programming. So this is the syntax of this switch statement. First we have to write the keyword switch then a parenthesis then between that parenthesis we need to write the expression so this expression must result in some integer value so then uh, a pair of curly braces and within that curly braces you have to write the case statements or your options so here case constant 1 is a case 1 or we can say that option 1 and these statements will be executed you know if this expression results in the uh, value specified here or in case 1 then uh, if that expression results in a value specified in this case 2 then the statements of this case 2 will be executed similarly you can write as many case statements you want and the last thing is if none of these case constants match with your expression result then the default block will be executed so let's see how we can use this switch statement in our program here for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create a variable which is of type integer and uh, I'm gonna call it as number then we're gonna write our switch statement so it's gonna be switch then the expression then a pair of curly braces so here I told that you know this expression must result in some integer value so if you can write an integer number here or you can write an expression which is gonna result in some integer value you can write number mod 2 or number number divided by 2 number plus something number minus something anything that must be an expression and it must result in some integer value so here I'm simply gonna write the number so now whatever the value will be specified in this variable number you know this switch will is gonna search for the case with the value specified in this number so first we're gonna create a case then let's say 1 if our number variable contains the value 1 then the switch is gonna search for the case with the constant or the value 1 so you know, if our number is 1 then we are writing the case for that so here we need to write the statement so for the demonstration purpose we can write a print of statement and we're gonna say uh, 1 next we're gonna write case 2 and case 3 so I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and here so now we're gonna make this one as case 2 and we're gonna say 2 and here we're gonna make this one as case 3 and we're gonna say 3 so now we have three options or three case statements and depending on this number value you know uh, if that number matches any of these values specified with this case you know the statements inside that case will be executed so make a note that after the case and the constant we are adding a colon here so in every case so if our number matches none of this uh, case constants you know then the default block will be or the default case will be executed it's gonna be default then a colon then we write the statement so I'm gonna copy this and uh, paste so I'm gonna say default so save it now I'm gonna assign this number with a value of let's say 3 save it compile it and run it so it says 3 then it says default so I'm gonna close it let's make it a value of around 1 save it compile it and run it it says 1 2 3 default 
that's because you know our number value containing the value 1 so this expression will result in the value 1 and the switch is gonna execute the statement of this case 1 it just printed 1 then there is no way that you know the control will come out of this switch statement here that's why it just continue to execute this switch so it executed 2 then it executed 3 then it executed default and then it came out so what we want to do now is we want to come out of this switch once any one of this case statement will be executed for example when our number is 1 we want only this printf statement within this case 1 to be executed for that purpose we can um, use a break statement here so what this break statement is going to do is when this printf statement or the statements of this case 1 will be executed or a particular case will be executed this break is going to take the control out of this switch and uh, it will continue to execute the other statements in the program so I'm gonna copy this and uh, add in uh, every case and another thing is you know this break statement is not necessary for this default case that's because you know if you're writing this default case at the end then eventually the control will come out of this switch statement here so I'm not gonna add this break here now save it compile it and run it it says 1 then the break is there that's why it's gonna come out of this switch so another thing is if this expression matches none of the case we specified let's say we have a value of 5 and you know we haven't specified the case for the value 5 that's why a default block will be executed compile and run it says default so now the last thing I want to teach you in this tutorial is you know this case constant need not to be in you know ascending order or descending order you can uh, write it as you want so I'm gonna make cut this one from here and uh, I'm gonna specify it here so first we have case 3 then case 1 case 2 so no problem I'm gonna make this one to 2 save it compile and run you know it produces the same result so this is it this is about the switch nc so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial